Welcome to Evening Prayer. Through this period of Lent, we are journeying towards Resurrection Day. And as we do that, we're taking time to mark exactly what that means and why it matters. And we're praying through the Psalms together, ancient song lyrics and poems that express every conceivable human emotion to God. And tonight it's Psalm 61. So if you've not done so yet, grab your Bible or you can click on the link with this video to go straight to the New International Version, uh, which is what I'm going to be reading from. Uh, we want to mark this time out as special, a time when we give our attention to God uh, and allow God to work in the deep places of our lives. So I'm going to light this candle as a reminder that Jesus, the light of the world, is present with us. Maybe you have a candle at home that you'd like to light as well. So we'll do that. Then we're going to be still. And then we're going to pray. We light this candle as a reminder of the presence of Christ the light of the world. And I invite you just where you are to become aware of your breathing. And if you can, try to breathe a little more deeply. And a little more slowly. A reminder of the life that God breathes into us with each breath we take. And I invite you just to become aware of your body. Any discomfort that you're feeling, particularly tension in your neck and shoulders where we carry the stresses and burdens of the day. Perhaps you're able to lower your shoulders a little bit, release some of that tension. I invite you to, to settle yourself into the firmness of the seat that's supporting you. And as you do that with your body, let that remind you of how God holds us firmly. So we thank you, God, for your presence with us. We thank you, Father, for your deep love for us. We thank you, Holy Spirit, that you long to speak to us. We thank you, Jesus, that you are leading us. Amen. Psalm 61 uh, begins with a cry of the heart. Uh, and it moves through some beautiful images of God's protection and care. So rather than spending any longer talking about it, we're just going to read it together. 
and we're going to read it line by line. And between each line, uh, we're just going to pause uh, for a few seconds, and that will allow you to uh, to make these words your own, uh, to pray your own prayers from your own heart, whatever whatever you're crying out to God for right now, whether it's for you or whether it's for someone else, we can use these words. And then once we've done that, uh, I'm just going to pray out whatever God puts in my heart for uh, for ourselves, for our neighbourhood, for our world. Just invite you to do the same. So let's begin. Let's pray. Hear my cry, O God. Listen to my prayer. From the ends of the earth I call to you. I call as my heart grows faint. Lead me to the rock that is higher than I. For you have been my refuge. A strong tower against the foe. I long to dwell in your tent forever. And take refuge in the shelter of your wings. For you, God, have heard my voice. You have given me the heritage of those who fear your name. Increase the days of the king's life, his years for many generations. May he be enthroned in God's presence forever. Appoint your love and faithfulness to protect him. Then I will ever sing in praise of your name. And fulfill my voice day after day. So Lord, as we pray the words of this psalm, as we allow our hearts to cry out to you through these words, 
God, we're in tune with every heart that is crying out. Lord, we think of those who do not know that they can turn to you. And who don't know that the one who made them and who made the universe has an eye on them, loves them, cares for them, wants what is best for them, listens to the cries of their hearts. Lord, we stand with them. We stand with the lonely and the broken and the abused and the oppressed and the hungry. Everyone, Lord, who your heart is for. And we pray that by your spirit they may feel that they are taking refuge in the shelter of your wings. And we pray to God that we, your church, may embody this in the world uh, by protecting, by rescuing, by drawing alongside, um, by uh, helping to affect change in, in the law. Whatever, Lord, is going to um, create a refuge for those who are hurting and broken. Whatever is going to create community for those who are isolated. Lord, would you be their refuge? Would you be a strong tower against those who would harm them? And Lord, as David uh, prays at the end of this psalm, uh, for himself, that the days of the king's life would increase for generations. Uh, Lord, we know that there's something else going on there. He's not just talking about himself. And so we thank you uh, that we live in that age that he looked forward to, the age of uh, your anointed king, Jesus, who has come, who has established your rule and reign on the earth. And so we join in that ancient prayer of David and ask that Jesus' influence may spread throughout the earth, may spread throughout the generations. Thank you that Jesus is enthroned in God's presence forever. And finally, Lord, I want to pray for us ourselves. Lord, the psalm ends with this beautiful picture of singing praise to you forever, uh, on a fulfilling voice day after day, live, living the way we were always intended to live, in partnership with you day after day. Lord, we know that that is um, the destination that you have in mind for us, in the new heavens and the new earth, when your kingdom has come in its fullness. Lord, we will enjoy your presence all the time, We'll enjoy um, worshipping you and that love, that two-way love relationship. Just enjoy that all the time. And we'll have meaningful, purposeful existence uh, like we were always meant to, day after day. So Lord, we look for that. But Lord, help us to find more and more of that in our everyday. Help us to uh, live more in line with the plan you have for us stewarding your creation, good relationships with you and with the earth and with one another and help us to enjoy our two-way love relationship with you more and more every day. Enjoy singing your praises, enjoy your presence. And now we want to pray for that kingdom to come in its fullness and for more of that kingdom to come now. And we're going to do that using the words that Jesus taught us. And some of us use slightly different words here. That's fine. You pray the words you know best and we'll kind of keep in rhythm with one another as we pray. Let's pray. Our Father 
in heaven. Hallowed be your name. Your kingdom come. Your will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread. And forgive us our sins. As we forgive those who sin against us. And lead us not into temptation. But deliver us from evil. For yours is the kingdom. And the power and the glory. Forever and ever. Amen. Amen. Thanks for joining us. Grace and peace be with you.